Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech doing a quick video on an awesome reprint that was just announced. Imperial Seal reprint. Yes, Imperial Seal, $800 card is being reprinted. Let's take a minute to enjoy this moment. Imperial Seal is one of the most sought after commander and cube cards out there. Why? Because the print run on it was super, super small. And at one point in time, it saw play in a really obscure format. Right now though, in Commander and in Cube, there are lots of people that would love to have this card. It is a solid card. It is a one casting cost tutor that puts any card on top of your library. Wait, it's also a sorcery. It's a slightly less powerful card than a $20 current card. Its entire value is wrapped up in how incredibly rare it is and that it used to get played in Vintage. If you really want Imperial Seal, go grab Vampiric Tutor. If you want Imperial Seal because it's super cool looking and will look cool in your cube or your EDH deck, the Judge Foil is here to help you. Cut down the price of that card significantly. Before we look at the price though, I want to dispel a myth. Lots of people have said to me already in the last 18 hours, hey Brian, are you picking this up for a vintage deck? No. This card is no longer played in Vintage. This card was barely ever played in Vintage. It's almost never played in Vintage. Vampiric Tutor is a better card. This is an Eternal Weekend EU Vintage Championship Storm deck from a few weeks ago. No Imperial Tutor. There are better cards in Vintage. This is an awesome, cool EDH or cube card. A fun, super rare card to have in your collection, but it is not heavily played in vintage. Mana Drain, awesome vintage card. Wonderfully powerful card. One of the most broken cards ever. Cool Judge Foil. Imperial Seal, not a vintage card, but still really cool. So what is it going to do to the value? And this is one of those cards that had a really inflated price for a long time. People have already got it up on eBay for a thousand dollars. Although the Japanese are already being listed at 50% of what they were listed at five days ago. The price on this card is going to drop. It's going to drop over several months and it's gonna keep dropping. This card is played by a casual set of players or commander players that really want that one extra tutor. There was a myth going around. And I heard this myth perpetuated in the last two months at Card Kingdom. I was at a group of commander players that were very, very serious. There was also somebody there with a very prestigious, awesome cube who said that they had inside information from WotC that this would never be reprinted. And $400 was an incredible deal if you ever saw that. You could only get them for five or six. I'm so glad this was reprinted. Not for the I told you so factor, but because Wizards is saying we can reprint anything, which is the way that it should be. We should be able to get cards in the hands of players. This drop in price is just the very beginning. As these come out to judges over the next few months, it will continue to drop because of how rarely it is played. Is it worth trading for at some point? Yes, three to six months from now, or if you've got a judge that's gonna give you a cool deal on it, you get them some stuff for their decks, as long as they're willing to work with you. $1,000, crazy price. Don't touch it at that. The foils will come down significantly. It's a fun, cool card, especially if you wanna play it in a very spiky EDH deck that needs that extra sixth or seventh or eighth tutor in it. It fits into those decks well. It's gonna be really cool looking in foil. I look forward to trading for one of these at some point for an EDH deck, but not right away. I hope you guys are as excited about this card as I am. I really like what this says from Wizards, that they're happy to reprint some stuff, get cool cards out there in the hands of players, and reward judges for the awesome amount of volunteer or free labor that they do all the time. Judges are great. They give huge amounts to this community, and I'm happy to see a foil reprint like this. For help getting the coolest cards to the top of your deck as soon as possible, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon, supporting the channel, and Chess.com, a sponsor of this channel. Until next time, choose the cards wisely.